our green insulation. We're going to talk about in a case like this is the difference between open cell and closed cell polyurethane spray foam insulation. In a particular application like this, uh, when you are looking to put a product on the exterior, there's only between open cell and closed cell, only X only closed cell is an exterior approved uh, foam. Open cell is not exterior approved. Um, also, here in a case like this, when you have new construction, let's say new construction, when you have new construction, by code you have to have a vapor retarder. It's okay to put open cell or closed cell in a, in a cavity when you're, doing open, when you're doing new construction because you have to have a vapor retarder that stops vapor transmission from outside to inside. And that's just a normal phenomenon that happens with all the houses. It's low vapor pressure inside, it's high vapor pressure outside. It's hotter outside, it's cooler inside. By laws of physics, vapor, water vapor, wants to pass right through everything and come into your house, making your conditioner work harder to cycle all of that out. In this particular application, we don't have a choice but to go closed cell polyurethane foam insulation. If we went open cell, the extreme water, the, the extreme vapor pressure that would build up from outside would easily pass right through the siding, right through the foam, right into the house. Now, Jason, the homeowner here, was complaining that he was, whatever the humidity is outside, the same as inside. If it's 90% humidity outside, it's, it's almost 90% inside because vapor is naturally just being pulled into the house as we air condition it. In a case like this, that's why you have to use closed cell polyurethane foam insulation. At two inches, it is your code approved vapor retarder. Um, it allows very minimally a little bit of vapor to come through, if that, and around that, after about two inches, it, it completely stops it. That, in a case like that, you don't have, once you put the closed cell foam on, you do not have to worry about going through the extra expense, putting a tie back, a building paper, another type of code approved vapor retarder. You took care of the structural integrity of the house, increased it by almost 300%. You stopped the, the, the transmission of water vapor from outside to inside the house. And you obviously insulated it and just made it a tight net and, and an airtight structure. Open cell, vapor will pass right through. There's a lot of great applications for open cell. There's a lot of great reasons to use it. But in a case like this, or underneath the floor of your house where you have an extreme amount of water vapor. It is warmer outside than it is inside. Not to mention another phenomenon called stack effect that we'll talk about in another video. Once you have three forces acting on, on vapor pressure, to put open cell underneath the house, you're shooting yourself in the foot. It's something you really need to think about. Study it, let's talk about it. Closed cell, exterior, you have to use it. And remember, open cell foams by manufacturer is not an exterior product. Only closed cell is. And especially when you have high vapor pressure reasons, you have to use closed cell.